Signature Barbie. The best look set with two outfits, meet one of the one of the last Silkstone Barbies, Barbie the best look. The very lat one is Barbie the gala's best. This is the final year for the haute couture segment from Barbie Signature. And with this set, senior director of Barbie design Robert Best is going back to the very beginnings of Barbie for inspiration. He's also connected to the beginning of the BFMC as well, with a two outfit set that comes with multiple accessories, reminiscent of the very first gift set released in the series. The Best Look Barbie Doll gift set features two indispensable classics, a smart suit for day wear and the perfect outfit for an evening dinner party. The stylish two-piece suit includes a removable faux fur collar accented with a brooch. For the evening look, a black lace bodysuit is paired with a full tulle petticoat trimmed with satin under a lace skirt. Two sets of satin opera length gloves, a tiered pearly necklace and a satin clutcher are finishing touches for either look. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So in front of you, you see the silk stone Barbie and Robert Bess is a person who is an iconic illustrator and he does these beautiful illustrations of his um of his drawings and they look so much like Barbie. So he'd been working with Mattel for many years. I'm gonna read a little part of an article that I found because I didn't know who Robert Bess was, but I did see his work and his work is incredible. Okay, so in front of us there is a doll here. And it is showing you right here that you can get this doll so you can get the Barbie. You can get Barbie the best look gift set here because it's a gift set. And you can click on Amazon and you can check it out. I'm not going to click it. I'm going to leave the link in the box below of this video. You can click it. And also collectors from Europe can get it here also so they can click it. Okay. So as we can see, you have this beautiful vintage doll. She has fiery red hair which I love. It kind of reminds me of Lucille Ball. I love Lucy, right? And she's wearing this beautiful lace dress with these um, nice white pearls and these satin white gloves. And she has on, you know, the iconic red lipstick. It looks really great on her uh, fair skin tone. So let's just scroll through and take a look. This is what she looks like in the box. It doesn't have the price yet you would have to come back to this website you love it.com i mean this is a mattel creation or you probably can go to the mattel uh website also so let's just keep scrolling through as you can see she's dressed in a nice um like suit uh skirt suit and it looks really um sophisticated right and then here is another outfit that is inside the box uh when you purchase it so it does come with two outfits okay so I'm love with the colors. Let's just scroll through. And it says Barbie, the best look silk stone gift set. Okay. So let's just keep scrolling through. So here she is, this iconic doll. She is a vintage Barbie doll. And if you look at her face, she's the first Barbie doll, right? By Ruth Handler, right? That came out in 1959. And I think she looks stunning. I always wanted one of these dolls. But I never purchased one because they were a little pricey. But one day I'm going to have to treat myself to a nice uh, Barbie doll. Like a silk stone doll. I see them all the time. I see people using them. So she's rocking this beautiful black lace dress with these gorgeous white pearls. And these nice satin classic gloves that you used to see it, right? From back in the day. It's always so classic. I love the classic boobies. The women be so beautiful. So, and it's a long dress, right? Come past her knees and she has on some nice like netted um, stockings and some really cool, nice black pumps, right? And what I noticed about this doll, like she has really nice legs, right? So here she is in the second outfit and uh, she's rocking. It's like a evening suit wear for her, right? Or, uh, no, not an evening suit wear. I'm sorry. It's more like a day wear for her. And then the dress is her evening wear. Like when she goes out, parties, and she's mingling and all that jazz, right? 
So yeah, so this is a checkerboard, really cool, nice looking um, outfit that she's rocking and very sophisticated looking. And she has the black netted uh, stockings and the black high heel shoes. And here's a close up of her. And I think she's a really beautiful doll. And um, I love her bright red lipstick and her hair is so beautiful. It's so thick. I just want to take a comb and just comb through it. But then and again, I don't because I love the style of it. And she has beautiful blue eyes and she has some nice, uh, you know, eyeliner across her eyes. I don't know what you call that, the cat wing. I don't know. I'm not good with makeup. I don't really wear makeup. But she's a beautiful, classic looking doll. Love the brooch. Love the fur around her. So she's classy. She's elegant. You know that, right? So here, as we're scrolling through, you can see uh, Barbie, the best look silk stone gift set art. And it's by Robert Bess. Okay. These are his illustrations. And I want to go to a website that I found with Robert Bess in it. Someone was uh, interviewing him or something. So he had to sit down. So let's just look at these right quick. You see, it says Robert Bess. He is signature, very fancy. You know, he's a fancy kind of guy. And I love it. It's beautiful. So let's just go to this website right quick because I want to tie it in. Um, okay, the website is here. This is the website that I found because I was looking up information about him. And this is an article that I found on Mojo Nation, right? And I'll read a little bit about it. You know, it says Robert Best is the VP of Barbie Production Design at Mattel working with inventors, to, um, keeping the brand fresh, right? So he does his thing. His illustrations are top notch. They are stunning. You hear me? Very stunning. And here he's being interviewed. So let's read a little bit of it. Um, it says, Robert, just the interviewer, it's great to connect, to kick off with your route into design. Am I right in thinking you were a fashion designer before you entered the world of toys? And Robin answered, yes, it was a somewhat, I can't say this word, what is that? Circuitous route into toys. He said, I went to school for fashion design at Parsons School of Design with the goal of becoming a fashion designer. I worked in the industry at different uh, design houses, did a lot of fashion illustration, and was very happy. So he was happy with what he was doing. And then he says, then my career did a very sharp left turn. And I decided to try my look at Barbie. And it's interesting because as an illustrator, I was frequently told that my illustrations looked like Barbie. I don't think I was aiming for that, but I loved Barbie as a kid growing up. So it's always been there in my subconscious. I sent my portfolio to Mattel and they were interested in the rest is history. So this is how he began to work with Mattel. They saw his illustrations and because his uh, illustrations looked like Barbie, of course, the people that worked at Mattel, they were shocked and stunned and excited. They're like, wait a minute, we got to get this guy on board. And it worked out for everyone, right? And it does say here, where did, um, excuse me, where did your interest in fashion design come from? And he said, I guess um, I was just a creative kid. Uh, my parents believed that idle hands were the devil's tools. So they encouraged me to play musical instruments, do sports, and try different creative endeavors until I found something that really moved me. I loved old movies and was always sketching. Sorry about that. TV just turned on. So he said, I was always sketching costumes and clothes. When I found out that fashion could be a career, it felt like a good fit. Okay. <clears throat> so it says, was that jump from fashion to toys a daunting one? Um, he said, well, when you're young, you never think anything will be difficult. So my youthful confidence served me well at that time. Both fashion design and toy design are disciplines that require an attention to detail. It's a similar uh, brain, okay? 
So I don't want to read too. I mean, I'm going to continue reading this article. If you are interested, yeah, this article goes on. If you are interested, I will definitely leave a link of this article or this um, sit down with Robert. Um, and I will leave it in the um, box below of this video. So let's just go back to the Silkstone doll. So these are his illustrations. So now you know how he tied in two with Mattel. And he was lucky that he just sent it and they loved it. So you know his work had to be outstanding for them to just like really want to put him on board. So congratulations to him. And I know he's doing many, many wonderful things. But these illustrations are stunning. I used to draw. So this is bringing back memories for me when I was in college and I was drawing and painting. I did pretty good. I was no Robert, but I did okay, okay? So here's another illustration that he did. These are stunning. They're so chic and so sophisticated looking, okay? I always had problems with drawing hands and fingers and feet. Ugh, that was really hard for me and I still need to practice. So we at the bottom. So if you're interested in this beautiful gift set by Robert Best, the Silkstone Barbie, uh, then you need to subscribe if you want to be informed when the new signature Barbie dolls will be released. Add your email, hit subscribe. <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't miss. <clears throat> sorry. Don't miss any news. Subscribe to our Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. So we can scroll back up one more time. Sorry about that. I'm getting sick. Because I'd be under the AC and then I'm under the heater. Uh, I don't know. Menopause in um, 52. So let's just scroll up and just look at this beautiful detailed work that he created. Okay. And I also went to his Instagram. He has a lot of interesting stuff. So, I mean, I love all the people from the art world, the creative world. I love it all. So these are stunning. Beautiful. I'm losing my voice. And I really, really love her deep red hair. It's like fiery red hair too. And it matched so well with her lipstick. So we're just scrolling back up so we get back to the top. And you can also come to this website. I will leave a link of this youloveit.com website in the box below of this video. Then you can come check it out. Okay, so we are basically back up at to the top. Okay, let me set it here. Okay, so we're basically back at back up. To the top, I just want to thank you all for watching. Make sure that you check out the links that I leave at the end of the video, like the end screen or the cards. You can check them out because I review so many dolls on the youloveit.com uh, website, okay? Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in another video. Bye for now.